Hello and welcome to the second official edition of the Hunter Bumgart Sports Podcast. A um, little different circumstances. Obviously, this podcast is about sports. There's not a lot of sports going on right now, but we're going to focus on the sport that is uh, giving the most headlines right now. That's the NFL. So we'll get to that in a second. First, I want to say um, about the coronavirus, obviously. We're going to get through this together. I'm glad you could tune into the podcast, maybe get your mind off of everything that's going on. Maybe you have some extra time at home now, whether you're not working or you're working from home, et cetera. So thanks for thanks for watching, and maybe this can be your little reprieve uh, from what's going on in the world. But let's just get right into it. Tom Brady made a move, and... It was surprising to me. I thought he was going to stay in New England. I did. I thought that he was going to finish his career there because I couldn't picture him going to another team. I couldn't picture him leaving such a system that has established not only his football identity, but really his personal identity. I mean, that he's he spent 20 years there. Uh, you know, I've been alive for only 21, almost 22, so... Uh, that's almost in my entire life. He has been there and you think how much I've grown in my entire life. I'm sure he's grown leaps and bounds in those 20 years. Um, and obviously won a bunch of Super Bowls uh, while doing it, but it was interesting. I, I did not expect him to go to a different team. And once it was announced, uh, it was reported supposedly that uh, he's going to get about 30 million a year from Tampa Bay. It made sense. This is the time for him to go get his money. I understand that. And he wasn't about to take a hometown discount in New England. So I was sure I was surprised he left New England. But once I read into it, saw the money that he's most likely going to get thought about it a little more, it makes sense. It also follows a trend and it follows a trend with star quarterbacks leaving their original team towards the end of their career. And that can bite fans in a wrong way. That can, that Fans don't like that necessarily. We saw with Brett Favre here, and I want to get into that a little bit. And do we think Rodgers might do the same thing? Because I think we have to, to kind of put it in our own backyard a little bit. It's definitely possible that Aaron Rodgers does the exact same thing. So we'll talk about that coming up. But first, I want to talk a little bit about you know Brady going to Tampa. What does this mean for the NFL? Brady has been close to the face of the NFL for the last 20 years because he's been so successful in New England because that entire system has been so successful in New England. He's been the guy. He's been the guy in the Super Bowl. When you sit down in that first Sunday in February and you're like, all right, this is the Super Bowl. I'm ready for the commercials. I got my snacks. I got my you know people around me. That's the guy that usually has been on our TVs. It's Tom Brady. And I think we might have seen the last of him on our TVs on Super Bowl Sunday. And I'll tell you why. There's people that have jumped to this saying, oh, Brady being on, on Tampa Bay, the odds makers in, in Vegas, the odds of the Super Bowl for Tampa Bay has jumped dramatically since it was announced that he was expected to be to sign with Tampa Bay. I Not so fast. <laughs> not so fast. Tom Brady, sure, he's one of the greatest of all time, maybe even the greatest of all time, depending on who you talk to, right? There's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different opinions uh, having to do with Tom Brady, whether he's the greatest. Um, but he's definitely up there, right? He's definitely top three, probably you know top two, especially for Super Bowls. The guy has won just a ton of Super Bowls. So he's, he's a guy that can definitely change a team, but can he take a team to a Super Bowl at this time in his career? Now, we saw Peyton Manning do it, and that was very successful. However, that defense was really good. The weapons around him were really good. I don't think he's going to have it in Tampa Bay. Yes, he has some weapons on the offensive side. He has some great wide receivers, uh, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. He's got some good guys. Um, we'll see what they do in the backfield as well and maybe the tight end position. There's some iffy parts, and that's kind of what leads me to believe, and, and the defense as well. They were, they were okay last year. That's what le leads me to believe that I don't think Tom Brady can get this team to the Super Bowl. Tom Brady... And it's not just because of the weapons around him. It's because Tom Brady himself. He's been in the league 20 years. Father time eventually catches up to you. And we saw it. We saw it firsthand last year in New England. We saw it in that game against Tennessee. He wasn't the same. And if he can't do it in the Belichick system, if he can't do it in the system that he's been in for 20 years, that's how it ended last year, a home loss to the sixth seed in the AFC, in the AFC playoffs. If he can't do it then, how in the world is he going to do it in Tampa Bay? Right, think about that. I mean, it's just no way. He was he had his lowest yards per game since 2010 last year. He had the worst touchdown percentage of his career. Touchdown percentage meaning percentage of passes that he threw for a touchdown 
compared to his attempts. Worst touchdown percentage of his career last year. But they still had a decent season. They still won the division because he knew the system, because he was comfortable in the system, because Belichick put the guys around him that he knew made Brady successful. They didn't have one of their best teams last year. Their defense was very good, but their offense teetered at many points of the season. We saw him get blown out by the Baltimore Ravens. And I think if they would have played the Ravens, I, I think they would have they had the same result. But they were able to get a, 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 a championship, an AFC East championship, and able to win double-digit games because of the system. Because Tom Brady knew what he was doing. Now, Tom Brady definitely helped. I mean, he's definitely, you know, just because he had the lowest yards per game since 2010 doesn't mean he had the lowest in the NFL by any stretch. He was about average. He had about an average year last year. But he brings an average year to, t to Tampa. And an average year for Brady is better than most years. I understand that. But you bring that to Tampa in a situation that's very unfamiliar for Tom Brady. Um, a brand new coach for the first time in his NFL career. It's, it's very, it's, it's very, it's unexpected. It's in the, in the, in the, I just don't think you can expect him to go out and win a Super Bowl at Tampa Bay. Now the Super Bowl is in Tampa Bay next year. So obviously, you know, Tom Brady has been chasing history. you know, he's been setting, he's been basically paving history for his entire career. And if he goes and, you know, plays in the Super Bowl in Tampa, the first home team to, you know, be in the Super Bowl, of course that would happen to Tom Brady. So, so I'm not ruling that out of the picture, but I just don't think it's not just Tom Brady either. It's like I said, the weapons around him, but also the division he is in, this is completely different than what he has had to face in the AFC East. Get this, okay? Since Brady started, now he's going to face Teddy Bridgewater, Matt Ryan, and Drew Brees um, in this in this new division in the NFC South, okay, with Tampa Bay. Brees has played 14 straight years for the Saints. Matt Ryan has played 12 straight years for the Falcons. And, of course, Bridgewater is joining a new team of the Panthers, but he's been around for a couple of years, a few years, I should say. The competition that he had to face in the AFC East when it came to quarterbacks, awful. All three, the Jets, Dolphins, and Jets, or Jets, Dolphins, and Bills, all three of those teams never had a starter go more than four years during the 20 years that Brady was there, okay? The Bills' longest starter went four years. It was Ryan Fitzpatrick. The Dolphins' longest starter for four years was the first four years of Brady's career with Jay Fielder from 2000 to 2003. Raise your hand if you remember him. The Jets' longest starter during Brady's whole career in New England. Four years. Mark Sanchez, 2009 to 2012. In that time, Ryan Fitzpatrick played for all three and started for all three of the AFC East teams. Chad Pennington played for two of the AFC East teams and started for two of the AFC East teams. The Bill, or the, uh, the uh, Dolphins and the Jets. The competition is going to go way up. And Breeze, he's not the Breeze necessarily was, say, three years ago, but he's still a good quarterback. I I would say maybe just as good as Tom Brady is right now and maybe even better now because he's been in that system with Sean Payton for so long. Also, condolences to Sean Payton diagnosed with the coronavirus. Um, So Brady's never seen this type of quarterback consistency in a division, and that helps. It, it can't not. Tom Brady's a great example of it. There are many examples of QBs. Even Aaron Rodgers is a good example of it. You have consistency in your system, and it works. Of course, towards the end of the consistency with Mike McCarthy, it didn't work. But if you have a coach, if you have a system that cons consistently works, like Breeze has had, um, and Matt Ryan being in the same city, he's had some coaches, but most most recently he's had the same coach for a long time. It's I think this is going to be uncharted territory for Tom Brady, and I just do not see Tampa Bay coming out of that division a winner. I think they make it a little competitive, but look, they play, they're going to play those three teams six out of 16 games. That's almost half the team. Well, now there might be 17, but that's almost half of the games are going to be played against these quarterbacks who have been in the league a fair amount of time. And Teddy Bridgewater, of course, in a new situation, but he showed what he could do with the saints last year. So I'm sure he could do a, do a, a, a pretty good job with the Panthers. So it's going to be a dog fight in that division. Nothing like Brady has ever seen. And I truly believe that because he, he's had some competition, the bills, occasionally the jets had Brett Favre for a year, Brett, you know, the jets have had a couple of good seasons. with Mark San Mark Sanchez, the dolphins have, never really competed greatly 
Um, so this is going to be something completely different for Tom Brady. So I'm saying pump the brakes. I'm thinking that Tampa Bay is going to go to the Super Bowl now just because Tom Brady joined him because I don't think so. I think if he goes to somebody like the Chargers, maybe, okay? Chargers maybe who are you know some of the other teams that they're thinking of course San Francisco was thro- floated out there I don't think um I, I well number one I think he probably would have been close to the Super Bowl again but I just don't think I think especially with the end of the NFC is right now the Packers and Vikings had really good years last year um you had the East had a down year but Dallas is going to be good they they're keeping Prescott they're keeping Amari Cooper with, with a new coach and Mike McCarthy that's going to be interesting to watch so I don't think we can say that Tom Brady's just going to go to Tampa Bay and win the Super Bowl or even get to the Super Bowl with them. I do not see it happening. Um, but again, it's Tom Brady, so we'll see. But what Tom Brady is is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. And many quarterbacks, including Peyton Manning, including Brett Favre, including uh, Montana, including, you know, the list is starting to really go on and on when it comes to the greatest quarterbacks of all time leaving their longest tenured teams at the end of their career. Of course, Brett Favre didn't get drafted by the Packers, but he was with the Falcons. He got drafted by the Falcons, but then was with the Packers for a long, longest part of his career. Expected him to retire a Packer. That didn't happen. We all know the angst we felt as Packer fans when Brett Favre left. It was just weird. It was weird to see him in a Jets uniform. It was weird to see him in a Vikings uniform. And I think it's going to be the same kind of thing if Aaron Rodgers does this. So my plea to Aaron Rodgers, of course, if you're watching this, Aaron Rodgers, which I know you're not, but if if Aaron, just stay, be different. And, and Aaron Rodgers has been different. He's obviously one of the greatest of all time. He's been different throughout his career. He was not projected to go where he was in the draft. He's had this chip on his shoulder for his whole career. Um, and he's talked about that. But just be different. Don't be like the other greatest quarterbacks to leave the fans that have been loyal to you, the city that's been loyal to you, and you've brought so much joy to the town and to the city and to the fan base that to leave at the end, it's just like, oh, it's just a letdown. Sure, you can come back and sign a day contract and retire as a Packer. Sure, Brady could sign a one-day contract with New England, but it's not the same. It's not the same as giving getting a treatment at Lambeau Field for your what you know is going to be your last game or might be your last game. We saw what happened with Eli Manning, right? That's the kind of closure that fans want. Eli Manning is a rare example of one of uh, I don't, it depends on where you rank him, but obviously one of the best QBs that that the game has seen, staying with a team for his whole career and giving fans that closure. Tom Brady won't do that. Peyton Manning didn't do that. Brett Favre didn't do that. Aaron Rodgers, do that, please. Not that he necessarily owes the fans that or not that the fans necessarily expect that, but it would be super nice because it would be, it would, it would put, like I said, it'd be closure on, on a fantastic career, one of the best careers in Packers history. Now, could I see Aaron Rodgers... Going to a different team, of course. Of, of all the quarterbacks, if you would have named, if you would have said Manning, Brady, uh, or Favre, and you would have put those three in front of me, and you said, and with Rodgers, and you would have said, okay, out of those four, who do you think is most likely to finish their career with a different team? I think I would have said Aaron Rodgers, just because of how he acts, his kind of keep everything close to the vest, doesn't share a lot in the off season. We've heard that maybe he isn't the greatest team player. Um, you know, a lot of fans get on him for being a lot of me, 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 I, 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 not a lot about the team. A lot of fans, to be honest, they don't adore Brett Favre the way they adored Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has brought a lot of joy to this fan base because of what we've been able to see him do. And I have felt super lucky to watch him growing up, but he's not as adored as Brett Favre was, um, in Green Bay. And so would it be not as heartbreaking to fans? Maybe. But could I see it a lot more than Manning or Brady or Favre? Yeah, I just could, just with his personality. It has nothing really to do with his play on the field, just simply that his personality seems like a guy who'd be like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go play for the Colts for a couple of years. You know, I'm going to go play for the Panthers for a couple of years. It just seems that way. Now, what Brett Favre did in going to the Minnesota Vikings, ah, man, I don't know if I could see Aaron Rodgers doing that. 
Partly maybe because the broken collarbone, but the uh, broken collarbone incident. Um, but I think he goes like like Tom Brady, and I think Tom Brady did this a little bit out of respect. Just go to a completely different league, um, and kind of start anew. And I think that might be what Aaron Rodgers does. But like I said, I, I kind of expect it at this point. Now he's going to be older when it, you know, he's going to be around that Tom Brady age when that contract is up. But man, I and he stated you know that. Obviously, he loves it in Green Bay, and he's signed multiple contracts here. But, man, I, I could see this happening. And it just, I, like I said, I'm just pleading. Just be different. Don't be like those other greatest quarterbacks of all time that leave their teams and leave fans with this emptiness that the at the end, you know, as he was doing his farewell tour, he didn't want to do it in Green Bay. That'd be nice if he could. Uh, but we shall see. So, Again, you know, Aaron Rodgers isn't going to come to this decision for a little while, but it's it's going to be interesting when he does. And obviously, big players, when they're on the move, it's always super fascinating to see what happens. And Tom Brady going to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer, which is going to be weird to see. It's going to be weird not to see him in the blue. Uh, it's going to be weird to see him in the red. But, um, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. It's kind of a shakeup. I'm excited to see what can happen now in the AFC without New England in there. Obviously, we had the Chiefs, and who I think will probably be the favorite in the AFC again, um, especially with New England not in their way. But we saw what they could do last year. So I think they might be taking over as the leaders here, especially with Patrick Mahomes. But, man, um, and it's also been nice to have some sports to talk about, hasn't it? I did my podcast last week, of course, about the Badgers and what they could do in the Big Ten tournament and what they could do in the March Madness tournament, neither of which are going on. Today would have been the second day of the March Madness uh, tournament, um, uh, excluding the first four. So um, it's tough because March Madness is, I don't know, one of my favorite things of uh, being a sports fan, and I know it's probably yours as well. So thanks for watching the uh, second uh, official edition here of the Hunter Baumgart Sports Podcast. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Hunter B on air. Also, Hunter Baumgart Sports on Facebook. We have a Facebook page over there, and uh, feel free to give that a like. And I'll be po posting these one to two times a week. So hopefully this was your little reprieve. My thoughts on Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady. And uh, we'll talk soon. Stay healthy. And as always, stay positive. <laughs>